Those traveling along Highway 101 near Newport will see the barriers and the signs. Today, the parking lot at the Driftwood Beach State Recreation Site closed to the public. It will remain closed for the next 10 months as construction on a wave energy testing facility gets underway. Today, the storage units went in and the sound barriers went up as crews broke ground on the PacWave South facility. So it's a big day. We've been waiting to get started for, for a long time, and so we're feeling pretty, pretty excited about this. So how does the work in this parking lot tie into Wave Energy? We'll take you about seven miles offshore to explain. You see, those huge tumbling waves off our coast have power enough to energize entire cities. The challenge, finding the right kind of devices to harness that power. That's where the Pack Wave testing facility comes in. The Wave Energy test site will be built seven miles off the coast, just south of Newport. The estimated $80 million facility will be able to test 20 devices at the same time. The first will likely be this 826-ton one. We did a story on it when it was being built on Swan Island two years ago. Cables buried underneath the ocean floor will connect the ocean test site to a facility in Seal Rock. It's that system that crews broke ground on in that parking lot today. We'll build a, a big underground uh, vault that will have manhole covers uh, when we're done. Uh, all you'll see uh, is, a, is a nice new parking lot with a few manhole covers. Once the cables are in place, then the wave energy creating devices will be brought in. That could happen as early as 2023. But you won't be able to see the devices unless you're out on a boat. And so if you were standing on the beach uh, south of Newport and looking out, they'd be over the horizon. You couldn't see them. And the cables, they'll be buried below both the seafloor and the beach. So once the Wave Energy test facility is complete, coastal visitors won't notice anything different, even though those waves they're watching will be making history. It's been conceptual for a long time, and, and now it's finally, it's finally getting real. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.